So we've just passed the high point, um, about, I don't know, 10 kilometres north of each of the dams, heading towards Loch B. And unfortunately, the, the cloud is down, but the landscape here, if you can any sense of it, is incredible. It's kind of this lunar esque landscape. Finally, the sun's come out, and we've got these spectacular views of the mountains north of Nishnadam as we're heading towards the Glencore Bothy. So, in the distance, there is Loch Beag, and beyond that, Loch Glencore, which is where we're headed. And there's the first of two supposedly great bothies right on the sea, which we'll be staying in the second one tonight. So that is the Glencool Bothy, and I think the last time I was here was Lamb 2006. So we've just left Glencool, which is back down there, which is, there's a Bothy. From down the valley behind you can see the waterfall we went past earlier. Truly spectacular kind of coastal terrain. We're now heading round to the Glendu Bothy, which is our next stop, which is up this particularly steep track. Just coming to the top of the climb that takes us over this little peninsula, um, and we'll drop down the other side to the far end of this amazing lock, Glencool, to the Glendu Bothy. And it's a shame the sun isn't out because there's loads of beautiful views of the islands out to sea but it's still lush. So after kind of 18, 19 kilometres a day we're just about to turn up at the Bothy at Glendu. We're doing the final section in the sea lock and there's the Bothy on the other side.